No Man's Sky is a game that has received a lot of hype since it was first announced at E3 in 2014, and I, I think with good reason. Early on it was promised by the developers that there would be over 18 quintillion planets to visit, and each one of them unique, or close to unique, since each planet is procedurally generated. What that means is that the computer follows certain rules and guidelines when it builds these planets and the flora and fauna that inhabit those planets. I have uh, been interested in this game since I saw a trailer for it probably back in 2014. I was pretty much blown away by the possibility of exploring such a huge universe and uh, I was also very impressed with how well it seemed you could uh, move from the planet's surface to outer space uh, seamlessly. Uh, that seemed really cool and really appealed to me. So I've kept an eye on this game over the uh, months since it was announced. And um, unless you've been living under a rock, you may have heard the initial reviews and um, people's uh, thoughts on this game. Uh, since it was just released. It was just released for the PS4 a couple days ago. I'm playing it on PC. It was just released for PC today, August 12th, 2016. And the reviews uh, and people's perceptions of the game are very mixed. I've heard a lot of people complaining about the game. Uh, a lot of people saying that it is... Uh, I think one person said something like, it's as broad as an ocean, but as shallow as a pond. And then other people say that they're having a fantastic time playing the game, exploring the different worlds and uh, collecting items, I guess, uh, and uh, doing whatever it is you do in this game. Even though I have kind of followed the game a bit since its uh, first announcement, I've watched some interviews with uh, the developers and I've read some stuff about it online. I'm still not real clear on what you do exactly in this game other than fly around from planet to planet. I hope there's more to it than that. Uh, this is not going to be a full game let's play. I'm going to play this game for a couple of weeks and then I'm going to move on to something else uh, because I have to imagine that this is going to be a huge, huge, huge game uh, that may or may not have an ending but um, because of that, I'm going to put a limit on my gameplay. So I'm just going to play it for a couple weeks. We're going to get a feel for what the game is like. And uh, we can decide for ourselves whether we think it's a good game or not. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this button here uh, to initialize. And we'll see what happens in No Man's Sky. Whoa. Pesach Nerasen dash Ido. Minus 1.3 degrees Celsius, so it's a little nippy here. So we got 0, 0.0 rad and scanner damage repair required. 50.9 tox, so of course I don't know what those really mean yet. Aerial propulsion jetpack online. Okay, multi-tool something or other. User initialization sequence complete. Okay, planet Pesach Narusin dash Ido in the Euclid Galaxy. You can see right there at what time I'm playing this game, and I missed what it said in the lower left-hand corner, although I did catch that it said Toxic Rain. Uh, so it's telling me that we have unredeemed items. To claim them, please use the options menu. Uh, I pre-ordered, yes, I know, shame on me. I pre-ordered the game, and uh, one of the things you get is a ship with warp capability, and I believe that's what that message is referring to right there. The annoying, pestering message that says, you have run unredeemed items. Uh, I've been, I've read not to claim that ship for claiming it would uh, make it difficult to get the blueprints for the warp drive, so I'm not going to claim that ship. Uh, it says to hold a button to interact. I don't know what that button is. It looks like a star, right? Hold what to interact? I'm not sure what that means, but uh, I have mapped my interact key to the V key. Um, 
I, I, I remap my keys in any game like this, any first person type game. I, I prefer E for forward, D for backward, S for left, F for right, and uh, V is always my uh, interact key. It just always has been. Always will be. Deal with it. So this is, ooh, what's that? Ooh, what is that? Uh, so I'm going to guess that, what is this guy? In the lower right-hand corner, it says Leave Planet. I'm going to guess that's our current goal, maybe. Leave Planet, find your crashed starship. Well, there is the crashed starship right there. Okay, sure enough. Uh, let's press some buttons and see what happens. What happens if I hit Escape? Escape brings up uh, our little menu here, Discoveries. Now, you can see here that... Uh, okay, so we're in the system Sephortextimo 14. And the planet, as I've already tried to pronounce. Okay. Uh, I could uh, rename and upload this. Uh, and, or I could just upload it. Hmm. Um, yeah. I have never really been good with uh, naming uh, things. I, I don't feel like I have a very vivid or creative imagination. I have a vivid imagination, but not a creative one. So I do kind of want to name it, although it's always going to say it's discovered by me. So I don't know if I need to call it mentor, mental f f foxia or anything like that. Let's see. It's telling me here weather toxic, rain, sentinels low. Hmm. I wonder if that little thing we saw flying by is a sentinel. Uh, flora, rich, fauna, regular. View all information gathered on this planet. Okay. Huh. Okay, well... So we have some waypoints we discover, some records here, not sure what to do about that, and some discoveries. Okay, so this is already looking kind of cool. It looks like there are some goals. Okay. I'm going to wait for the game to tell me to do this stuff, see if it does. Journey. Uh, journey milestones. We've got uh, static on foot exploration. We've already traveled six units, apparently. Lonesome alien colonist encounters meant zero aliens. So there's all kinds of things we could do. Ooh, we could learn words. We could accrue units. We could destroy starships and sentinels. We could survive so many days in extreme conditions. We can warp. And we can discover all species on a planet. So I guess these are kind of like achievements. Controls. I've already told you I've already remapped my controls the way I prefer them to be mapped. And we've got some options here. And if we look at the graphics, you'll see that I'm running in medium detail. Uh, I have a pretty old graphics card. My graphics card is a GTX 680. Uh, I've had it for is it almost three years now. Is it that long? It has been a fantastic card. I have absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever. Although I feel like we may getting maybe be uh, maybe finally getting to a generation of games that will require me to upgrade. I'm actually waiting for DX12 games to come out, which will force me to go to Windows 10. I'm still using Windows 7, and thus um, force me to get a DX12 graphics card. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm gonna try to stretch out the 680 as long as possible. And uh, it's been a great card. But anyway, that's why I'm running medium everything. Also, uh, this game um, apparently is pretty jerky, pretty herky-jerky. Uh, lots of hitches and stutters. Uh, so maybe not optimized real well for PC. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll see what happens here. Let's walk over to this stuff. See what this is. This is Cargo Drop. Interactor Search. Ooh, I found a fascination bead. <laughs> okay. Not sure what to do with that. Here's some debris. Uh, one Atla Atlas Pass V1 required. I need an Atlas Pass to open that. Toxic protection. Ooh. Falling. Toxic protection falling. Ooh. So in the lower left-hand corner, apparently this thing's uh, toxic, I guess. Or maybe the, maybe the planet is toxic? Oh, it's 50.9 tox. That's what it's telling me right here. So in the lower left-hand corner, you see I've got a green bar that is dropping. So this is a toxic planet, and I think I'm going to either need to get off this planet or something. Okay, there goes that little dude again. Well, let's go ahead and do what the game says to do. Rasamama S36. Let's interact with our ship. 
Oh, oh. Okay, we're in the ship. Hmm. Launch thruster critically damaged. Press tab to open inventory. Launch thruster, vertical takeoff system, vital launch and landing gear system. User is advised that plutonium is required to recharge thruster. Launch procedures require sufficient fuel levels before activation. Hold W to take off from planet. Again, for me, that would be E. Hold space to initiate in-flight speed boost. I must say I am disappointed that I've remapped my keys, but the on-screen HUD does not take that into consideration. I mean, it's 2016. Come on. That kind of thing should be common in games. More than common. It should be standard. Uh, so, let's see. Repair. Kerite sheet. Craft products in inventory slots. I do not know what that means. I'm going to open my inventory here. Uh, let's see. Launch thruster. And pulse engine. These things are critically damaged. Okay, so I opened up my inventory, but I don't really know what to do about it. Deflector shield, energy shield that protects spacecraft from laser fire, in-flight projectiles, and accidental space debris interaction. User is advised that oxide elements are required to recharge device. Operates automatically once constructed within user's starship inventory. And there's an energy bar there. We've got kerite sheet, a lightweight metal product heavily used in ship part manufacture. Also used in the construction of planet-side outposts and facilities of all known primary species. Total value 825 units. Okay. We've got a photon cannon, highly destructive weapon that facilitates rapid ship-to-ship -ship destruction. So I've got this launch thruster. Repair this technology. Okay, so apparently I need four kerite sheets in order to repair this, if I'm looking at this correctly. We currently only have one. So we're going to need to exit our ship here and get some more kerite sheets. I'm hoping that my toxicity level has reduced. Let's bring this back up again and look at our exosuit. Okay. Uh, health. Protection. Stamina. Utilities. We've got a jetpack, hazard protection, life support, and fascination bead. Golden metal sphere used to temporarily increase the processing power of electronic life forms. Conductivity within an entity's casing is dramatically increased, resulting in faster analysis and research. Okay, well, hopefully the game will tell me what the heck that is for at some point. Then we have a multi-tool. Uh, let's see, it's pretty cool looking. We have a mining beam, directed laser mining tool, charged by isotope elements such as carbon. Exposes and captures elements within planetary rock formations and vegetation. User operation can result in sentinel scrutiny. Hmm. And this thing's only at 50% energy. We also have a scanner. It's critically damaged. We need some carbon to fix that. And we have an analysis visor that is also critically damaged. Let's get out of this ship. Um, I do not know how to exit the ship. Whoa. Oh, okay. Alright, well. Ooh, what's this? Debris. Let's interact with it. Okay, so I interacted with this debris. Reality seems to fold in on itself. One moment, I can see debris, in another, a vast red orb, almost too large and too bright to behold. It knows me, inside and out, more than I ever could myself. Could this be the face of creation itself? Or, in my hazy, freshly awakened state, am I being manipulated? A name burns itself into my mind, Atlas, and a request, made without words, that I should follow the path this being this atlas has set for me. Who? Accept the atlas's guidance or spurn direction and explore freely? Huh. Um. Well, I could probably use guidance. I feel suffused with the warm glow of approval. I was lost, but now am found. The atlas, something or other, we don't know. Gather iron from small rocks, it says. Okay. Uh, what's this right here? This looks good. Cargo drop. 
We got a whole bunch of plutonium from that. Let's interact with this. Nothing found. Let's interact with this. This has another fascination bead. Whoa, that was quite a hitch there. And, uh... Atlas Pass version 1 required to interact with that. It's some, uh, oxide. No, shielding shard. Okay. Damaged machinery. Let's search this. New technology discovered. Advanced cooling tau. Photo, uh, photon cannon companion unit. Photon cannon cooldown times are significantly reduced. Ship on ship destruction becomes more fulfilling well, becomes a more fulfilling endeavor through reduction in photon discharge interruptions. Operates automatically once constructed within user's starship inventory. So we need some thamium 9, some chrysonite, and some iridium in order to build this. Okay. So we're just going to have to make do with this annoying message in the lower right hand corner there that tells us we need to redeem our unredeemed item. I'm just going to have to deal with it. So I need to find small rocks. And I guess these are rocks here. Or are they? Is this a rock? Huh. Destroy. Okay. We fire at it. There we go. Iron. Alright, we're getting a bunch of iron. Whoa, overheated. Okay. So we got a bunch of oxide for that. You need 44 more iron to craft karite steel. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Well, we need more iron, so let's go ahead and destroy this stuff. Now, I seem to remember... Oh. Uh, I read that using the mining tool... Uh, where did I see this? The mining beam. User operation can result in sentinel scrutiny. So... We might not want to use this if the sentinel's nearby. And by the way, check out the red sky here. It's pretty cool, right? Whoa! There's an animal over there. Look! That was pretty neat. Can I run? I can. I can sprint. Let's see if we can zoom in. Nope. Can't zoom on it. Oh, analysis visor. Optical enhancement and creature discovery system. Huh. How do I repair it? Uh, let's open our inventory and see if we can repair this thing. Analysis visor. Repair. I repaired it. Cool. So now I should be able to scan, zoom in. Analyzing. What? 200 units have been credited to your account. Lo I don't know if that's an I or an L. Ayusanu and bleh. Age perpetual, gender unknown, temperament skittish, diet, absorbed nutrients, uh, weight and height. Is this another one? You've already discovered this. Is this one here? Am I too far away from it to discover it? Or is it just the same thing? Hello, are you friendly? Feed? Hmm. I wonder how I feed it. And why would I want to? So, let's go see if we could... Look at this little dude here. Analyzing. Oh, okay. So this is a juvenile. Creature belongs to already discovered species. That's fine. He was just a baby one. Hey, what's this? Okagif Indamuru. New discovery. Okay. So I think that um, we are... Let's see, where do I see this at? Oh no, we go to Escape and we go to Journey. No, it's dis under Discoveries. Discoveries. Here we've discovered... These are the guys we've discovered. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Gender None... Temperament Fearful Diet Grazing Creature. Okay, so we could rename them and upload them if we wish. And here is uh, Gender Asymmetric, Gender Unknown. 
Huh, okay. Interesting. So we found an asymmetric gender one and an unknown gender one. Hmm, okay. Okay. Records. All right. Okay, let's not get too far off track here. We need, we need to get our ship working, and I need to actually get back in my ship because we're getting a little uh, toxic here. Uh, iron. Okay, so I got eight iron. Let my mining beam cool off. Okay, got a bunch of iron. Good, good. Okay. Okay, so we're hurting in life support, it would seem. It's okay, I just want to get a little bit more of this stuff, and then we'll go back and sit in our ship to um, heal ourselves. Oh, oh, almost overheated. There we go. All right, a lot more iron. Now we need this Atlas Pass. I don't know what this is. Let's let's look at this thing here. Oh, did I already look at this? It's open. Oh, okay. I guess I've already looked at this. All right, let's get in our ship because we're getting pretty toxic here. Interact with our ship, Rasamama S36. Okay, launch thruster critically damaged. So, oh, it's raining on us now. You hear that? That's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's uh, go in here. We're going to uh, craft a... Hmm. How do I craft a karite sheet? Mm hmm. I see move and stack, transfer and discard. But I don't see anything about crafting it. Huh. Um. Huh. Whoa. What am I doing here? Carite sheet. Where's all that stuff that we picked up? Uh, inventory. Oh, it's in my exosuit, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to teleport elements carried in my exosuit inventory to my starship. Okay. That's in my starship. That's in my starship now. Now let's go back to the starship, and we'll see that we have a bunch of iron. Um, but how do I make this? Hmm. Um, what am I missing here? Maybe I don't have enough iron to make it yet. Oh, I need 500 of it. I guess. Okay, let's get some more iron then. Let's exit the ship. Restore point saved. Okay, that's cool. Okay, here's some little rocks over here. Let's go ahead and uh, destroy these. Oh, this is carbon. Oh, and I got some iron too. Okay. Hmm. Okay, got some more iron. Okay, so apparently there's going to be a lot of this. Now, why am I getting carbon? Alright, bunch more iron. Need more rocks. Looks like there's some rocks over here. Get a bunch more iron. I think we needed like 500 of it, didn't we? That's a hell of a lot of iron. What's this question mark? What's this? Oh. Oh. Let's go. 